We did it, gamers. We've reached 10,000 subscribers. Technically 13,000 as of the making of this video, but that just makes this all so much more special. So thank you all so much for helping me reach this milestone. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to go down and subscribe right now. It would mean so much to me. And now let's get to the questions. My man, the Chainsaw Maniac asks, how long does it take you to make a video? Generally for my usual animatic type style content, it takes me about a day to script or record and about two weeks to get all the panels fully drawn and then another two days to edit. Of course, it rarely ever takes me just a week or two to get a video out these days because of college and life. But hopefully during the winter, I'll be able to pump stuff out more regularly for you guys. Obsidian asks, how did you think of your avatar design? Basically, I love superheroes. I even made a video about it. I love them so much that I made my own stories about them even as a kid. And even during the early years of my channel, I was doing college, YouTube, and making a superhero webtoon all at the same time. I thought if anything can make my avatar design special, it's the one genre that means the most in my life right now. Groggy asks, what's your name? How long have you been into anime? What's your favorite anime? Where are you from? Well, this is quite a pile of questions, but I'll still answer all of them. My real name is Minchik. I've been into stuff like Naruto since I was seven, but I only ever delved deep into the rabbit hole when I was like 14. My favorite anime of all time is Little Witch Academia, and I was born in Queens, New York, but mostly raised in Los Angeles, and a bit of my life in Louisiana. So, fun fact, I am an East and West Coaster and a Southerner all at the same time. Pretty cool, right? I need coffee asks, how many manga volumes do you own? Or do you read digitally? The answer to this is yes. I read my manga mostly digitally, but I do still own a few manga volumes, but I own way more comic book volumes, even though I currently read a million times more manga than comics these days. These are some of the manga that I absolutely adore. And also, I recently just ordered a new Western comic book to add to my collection recently. Shut up, it's really good, okay? <laughs> I was acting. Comically Large Spoon asks, how would your family react to your channel? My parents already know about them actually. They seem confused, but proud at the same time. And my other relatives probably don't give a crap. Celestial asks, did you like drawing as a kid? And are there any other anime you like? Uh, the answer to the first question is yes. It all started in elementary school when I noticed a Japanese kid sitting next to me drawing Godzilla. I was so inspired from that day, I just began drawing dragons all over my notebooks and worksheets. You couldn't stop me from drawing a cool dragon. But of course, later on in my life, I got into the habit of drawing superheroes and anime. Speaking of anime, other anime that I like are a lot of slice of life shows and rarely shown in action stuff, except for the really good ones, of course. So for this next question, I think it'll be best to answer it lightning round style. Nate Smith asks, if you could learn and become a master in any five martial arts, what would they be? Um, I'd like to learn Taekwondo, Capoeira, Kali, Wing Chun, and Krav Maga. If you could get five superpowers, what would they be? I'd love to have super speed, super strength, shape-shifting, telekinesis, and cybernetic enhancements. You get dropped into a fantasy world with trolls, orcs, knights, wizards, etc. Whatever force brought you there will grant you the skills and abilities of any real-world animal and the power to control one element to help you survive and get around. What animal and what element do you choose? I would have to go with the eyes and wings of an owl and the ability to command lightning. What's your favorite genre of movie? Obviously, superheroes aside, my second favorite has to be cop shows. Shows like Dexter I really enjoyed, and most recently, Lucifer was an amazing watch and I'd recommend it to anyone even though I get the plot might seem strange at first crime solving devil it makes sense don't overthink it Muhammad Naufo Najmi Roslan asks what's your favorite anime probably Little Witch Academia but in terms of anime movies Premiere may just beat it out Fausto Canzoni asks can I ask you which program you use for drawing? Uh, yes, I use Adobe Photoshop to draw all my content, but I know it's very expensive for some of you out there, and I feel for you, but don't worry, there are cheaper alternatives like Clip Studio or even some free ones out there like Krita. Derek Moore asks, why do you do the type of videos you do? Aside from the clout, I do animatic style videos because it's basically just making comics but with a theatrical vocal performance which I enjoy. I've even been thinking of experimenting with storytime animation content. Shregan asks, who are your favorite and least favorite superheroes? My favorite superhero is still the amazing, the spectacular, the sensational Spider-Man. But Daredevil is a very close second. My least favorite superhero is probably like Hawkman or something. He's just a guy with a mace and wings who gets reincarnated every once in a while. I don't get the hype around this guy. 
Chris Sack asks, will you make videos for other anime in the future? I would love to see some Demon Slayer, like breaking down their pros and cons. Um, maybe. Honestly, I've never really been one too inclined to make anime review style content, but I am still a huge weeb, so I'll still be talking about the general weeb culture a ton on my channel. Mind Player asks, what's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is but if you were looking for a more lighthearted and fun answer, I am very scared of being alone in the dark. Like imagining just being in a dark forest or an abandoned rundown restroom, or God forbid the middle of the ocean is terrifying. KK asks, what's your favorite kind of food and why do you like it? My favorite food is buffalo wings. I love chicken and wings and the buffalo sauce is just mwah, so good. Andrick Del Angel asks, who's better, Naruto, Sasuke, or Kakashi? I mean, is that even a question? Obviously, Kakashi is the best character in all of Naruto. Thomas Gates asks, why are you so horny? Oh, so what gender are you? Well, my friend, I actually prefer the term cultured as opposed to such a vulgar word like horny. And I think it's pretty obvious I'm a guy, right? Final question of the day, Shaheem Rush asks, what games do you play? Right now I'm getting back into Overwatch and I know it's a terrible game and I don't recommend it to anyone, but it's always just there when I need to take a quick break. I'm also really into GTA Online as well, and I know it's an even worse game than Overwatch, but it's therapeutic sometimes just grinding out Casino and Kaya Perico while listening to YouTube videos. But I also love a bunch of single player games like Red Dead Redemption 2, Honey Pop, The Life is Strange series, and a bunch more. So that was the Q&A guys. Once again, I just want to thank you all so much for your support of the channel. I truly couldn't have ever expected I would get here this soon, but here we are. So with that being said, if you aren't subscribed already, be sure to go down and subscribe right now. And I'll see you guys next time.